And so here's, I mean, here's the one I have. It's the same one I have. So it's, I have this, just this little journal and I am on number 12, number 12. And I put the date on it. Hi, I'm Brett. I'm a psychic medium. I specialize in cleansing and clearing of people and places and can do it in person or remotely. I also work with people, coaching them on their psychic development and helping people um, deal with their paranormal problems. Um, in this episode, I am trying out this interview software and my computer recording stuff and trying to get that all figured out. But the main purpose is to talk about um, keeping a journal. I think this is one of the most important things in psychic development. I think you need to have a journal. You need to be keeping track. That's the first thing. And you need to be meditating. And we'll talk about meditation in a later one. But I've got Brett from Casual Psychic here to help me with the, um, help me test out the software. Hi, thanks for having me. Um, I'm your biggest fan and your biggest critic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, seriously. Okay, so let's get to our topic. What is it about journals that's so important on, um, in the psychic development process? Um, yeah, keeping a journal is one of the most important things or one of the first steps I usually recommend to people when they are starting their uh, psychic or paranormal journey. Um, when you're starting your psychic development, it's handy to have a journal because it really, really can help you. And then also if you're having paranormal phenomena or you're an investigator or something, it's also helpful to keep a record of what's going on. Um, so your journal is going to help you recognize patterns. So you're going to see that there are patterns with the activity you're having or dreams you're having or whatever. You're going to see um, like the cause and effect with things you're, things you're going through. You're going to see the results. You're going to do something and you're going to see results of it that you might have forgotten about like wanting something to happen or talking to somebody about something. And later on, it, when you're looking at your journal, you're going to notice, oh, yeah, this did come to fruition or whatever. And then um, you'll also be able to track uh, the duration of things. Yeah. You're going to see time, time related things. So like you'll notice that you're more effective at cert during certain seasons or uh, phases of the moon will affect you when there's a full moon. Things get crazy. You'll notice that. Um, let's see nighttime, uh, day versus night, you'll notice that more stuff, more stuff tends to happen at night. Yeah. And then, um, it's a record. Your journal is a record of activity. So it can be record, a record of events, of activity, of conversations you're having with guides, with other people, with psychics, classes, whatever you're doing. Um, I put my dreams in there. Uh, this is a good place to record your dreams because they're often pretty paranormal and psychic. And I'll probably get into that in a later episode. Um, it records the details. And once you start doing these, doing your journaling, as you start to write, you'll remember things. So it helps with your recall of um, things you're going through. So you'll get recall. I've got notes up, so I'm looking at my notes. Yeah, me too. I'm trying to um, keep trying to do this and sync it up with you. It shows you'll be able to track your growth. You'll see how things have developed and changed for you over time. And then um, one thing Crystal pointed out is she gets a lot of validation from her journals because something will happen, and she'll write it down. And it's you don't really censor what you're putting in your journal. You just put it in there. If it's weird, if it's paranormal, it's like, oh, I think I kind of saw this thing out of the corner of my eye. And you write it down and you forget about it. And then months later, you happen to see the same thing and you get validation because you look back and you notice, okay, it's been happening over and over and over again. And so it kind of validates, okay, this did show up at this time and... That, that's kind of how that works. Yeah, that, I, I keep having that same sort of thing happen. So how, yeah, you, like, 
you can recognize phenomena over time. So it's helpful in differentiating things that are happening. Um, so you might have a yeah. certain kind of entity or group come through and you'll notice, yeah, we've had a lot of this kind of thing happening for a while and then it'll change. And so that is helping you to recognize and, and uh, differentiate the kind of activity you're having over time. Or it'll be like, oh, you know what? I noticed that I am totally, I've been totally clear audience for a long time. So I've been hearing psychically and then all of a sudden it's all um, clairvoyance. So yeah. seeing. Yeah, that's happened with me too. And then I put illustrations and drawings and diagrams and all sorts of stuff like that in there because I think that's also useful because symbols will show up in dreams or things like that. Yeah, I agree with what you're saying 100%. Um, how do we get started? Like what roles? Okay, so with your book, um, I think it's really important to have it be exclusively for your paranormal yeah. activity, your psychic activity, working on your mediumship, all of that stuff. And so here's, I mean, here's the one I have. It's the same one so, I have. So it's, I have this, just this little journal and I am on number 12 number 12 and I put the date on it when I start it and I write really tiny um, and I've got a bunch of these and I'm pretty good at pretty good at keeping up with them um, so that's mine that's one that I really find is helpful for me a little one I can I can it, it's accessible to me um, and then here, like you can use just a regular composition book. I feel like it's something you want to make. Um, you want to make special. Like Crystal talks about that. Here's crystals. Um, she, hers, um, like she really thinks it's it's important to her to have something that um, is kind of sacred to her. Um, it's special to her. And I kind of feel the same way. Like I'm really, uh, my journals are some of the most important things I have right yeah, now too. because they have they're a record of all of these things and all of all of this crazy stuff that's happened over the years. And um, I've never been a journal person, and so um, yeah, this is brand yeah, new. Yeah, I have me. trouble keeping uh, up with my journal. So uh, any tips? Yeah, I I. For me, I know that doing it on a computer or doing an electronic version wouldn't work. Um, but whatever it takes for you to do it and to be consistent with it and keep up with it, that's really important. So devote yourself to doing it. Um, what what rules or suggestions do you have for uh, how to see. keep going with your journal? Yeah, rules and suggestions for your journal. Uh, don't worry about spelling errors. Don't worry about it being neat. Don't worry about like, having to cross things out. I write in pens, so I have things scratched out in spots where I just, I, I started to write something down and I wrote it down wrong, but I'm not really censoring it. I'm not, um, I'm just getting the information down. I have trouble um, keeping up with my journal. Um, yeah, me too. Do you have any tips? Me too. I try to do it. I try to do my um, journal every day i mean daily would be best if you can write it down um so, sometimes yeah. if i'm not doing it daily i'll jot something down on another piece of paper to remember so when i do sit down Me to too. do the journal i'm putting it in there but yeah I, i'm um for certain periods when stuff is happening a lot when a lot of stuff is happening every day i make sure to record in it every day sometimes it's weekly because stuff doesn't happen that much I've found that I don't usually do it at night when there's other activity going on because it'll set off whoever is around and sometimes I, I usually like to have it quiet at night, um, less activity going on at night because I'm going to try to sleep. I think this is learned early on. You don't want to start up, you don't yeah. want to start at night uh, while you're trying to go to sleep because uh, some act, some entities will not want to um, like chill out to let you sleep. Yep. No respect. Uh, let's see. No respecting your time. 
Yeah, it takes um, a while for the doing the journal to really feel like it's paying off. So um, what I would suggest is to start out with a list of like list everything paranormal or everything that is strange that's happened in your life. And that kind of gets you started on it. And don't worry about don't worry about neatness. Don't worry about having it in order. I usually put the um, the date up up in the corner or like I'll, I'll separate each each day by a line or each entry by a line and put the date on it. So it's just a running, that's what I do, a running journal. Um, I'm not sure if Crystal does the same kind of thing, but it tends to work out that way and you aren't wasting pages. Um, and sometimes, uh, sometimes what you'll put in is only like one sentence or two. It's actually getting kind of painful to listen to you drone on right now. Yeah, at a certain point in my journal, I was just, uh, I would record things with symbols or I would just write certain words to explain things. Okay, jabbing, movement, um, I think it was this kind of folks. And that would be all that was in there. Uh, there might, might not be other information. Yeah, I get Sometimes it. it's really I detailed it. and there's a lot of information yeah. and it's explaining, um, yeah. uh, I don't know. Okay, but yeah, that's the kind of thing. Um, so let's see. Yeah, I mean, is there anything I'm forgetting? Uh, nope, you're, you've got everything. We need to stop this. We need to get going with it. Yeah, excellent. All right. All right, thanks for being on. Um, I'll probably have you on again, maybe. Yeah, know. my pleasure. It's it's really weird, though, right? I mean, this is bizarre. It's, I don't know if it's going to work feel... right. Yeah. What? Okay, well, um, yeah, it's thanks the same, for... Same thing. Um, be sure to check out Brett's channel, Casual Psychic. Go subscribe, like comment all right thank uh, you let him let me know what's going on yeah i'm drinking the same thing okay bye all right thanks for getting through my little experiment i'm serious about the journal stuff really that is important um please like subscribe and comment let me know if you're keeping a journal and how it's helping you maybe to inspire some other people to uh get going with their journals too and thanks for watching